What's up guys, welcome back to another drawing tutorial tales today from Sonic 2. I'm in a landscape page, use a pencil and an eraser, sketch it out lightly, hit pause if I go too fast. I'm going to start with his eyes, right? So landscape page, center point, about here. I'm just going to come over to the right hand side a little bit. His head is moved over to here just to fit in his tails that stick out the back, okay? So we're going to go straight up first, kind of curves at the top. Big wide eyes, curves around, down, this way. And then it goes around, down into here. You can make this maybe a little bit furry, just there. Okay. So his eye inside there, big oval sort of eyes, right? So like big, big line around. that and then pupil inside dark black and sometimes when you're coloring the pupil it's good to leave kind of a highlight somewhere so like the top maybe like a circle you could always add it afterwards as well if you want it with like paint or something so then the other eye, so we've got sort of this like hairy white section that joins them together. And then the other eye goes up. Around. Like this and back in. And because he's looking over, his head is like turned away. So he's looking over to his left. This eye is like right close to his nose. So it comes out from the side of his nose here. Because we've got a bit of a three quarter pose going on. And then the pupil. And then you just color it in and leave a highlight. highlight on the top there okay and then if you want like we've got like some texture lines for eyebrows and stuff because you know in the in sonic it's like computer generated it's not like the same so we could have like some light sort of lines just to show some eyebrows and stuff like that some lines coming around his eye So he's got like a real hairy sort of mouth area, right? And his nose is on that. So just in the middle here, we'll do his nose first. So he's got that sort of big pointy black nose. Well, curvy, not pointy really. He kind of comes around here and you can see a little bit of his nostril. He goes around here. And then that white area comes out from his eye, right? So he's got these spiky hair. Coming out like that. And then it goes back in underneath sort of his chin, which comes around here. Underneath and back to the hairy part on this side, which again comes out from here. And these just spiky, hairy bits. Now remember, hair moves, so it doesn't have to be exactly like mine. You can add some texture, maybe. And he's got like a standard sort of cartoon kind of smile. So starting sort of underneath this eye, right? You're gonna go like that, ending just underneath here. You just maybe add a little dimple there, maybe something here. And you could have like some edge lines and stuff, just some hair, texture. Coming around his mouth. Right, so now his head, right? So coming around here, adding some furry lines right 
anything like this. Then on the other side at the back here, right? And these become eventually become his like ears. Okay. So his ears kind of stick out this way. And again, they're kind of furry, furry lines like that. And then we have the center of his head just here. And then the other ear goes off this way and joins the back of his head on the other side. Like so. And he has two spikes of hair that curve down here. Coming out from the middle of his head. Another one here. Add some texture to it. Again, some sort of hair lines and texture lines for the hair just covering the ear here. And so the ears have an inside triangular section. So like uh, the inside of the ear here, and then that comes down this way. And then this will have some, some short hair lines just here as well. And then the inside of the ear on this side, kind of hairy texture on this. Now it's all dark gray kind of inside here. You can color it black if you want to, but I'll do, I'll do it gray afterwards. So his body, right? So we've got this white furry stomach or chest sort of area here. Just doing it kind of furry and hairy like so. And again, you can add some texture, like some fur lines there. And then the rest of his body comes off that way. And his hand is on his hip. so. His hairy shoulder kind of comes out this way, out to his elbow, down to there. And his arm here. And he's got his glove on his hip, so I might be able to fit it all on my page. A few more room, feel free. But I'm just going to, just because hands can be kind of hard, we're just going to do the wrist. Like that. And then maybe his glove just there. Then we can just see the side of his body and there. It kind of looks like his head is kind of floating a little bit. So he's got the back of his cheek or something just here going, going in towards where his neck would be. Can't see his neck. Maybe we'll add a little bit of a neck just there. And then his shoulder on the other side hairy line there and then his glove on this side like his top of his white glove there again if you want lots of this sort of texture on his on his fur like that it just makes it look more like the CGI tails rather than the cartoony one so now the tails so big furry tail right out to there and then it kind of goes back this way and he's got like a white end so it's like orange here it's a fox's tail basically it's got like a white section on the end and orange in here so you could add like texture to it and then the other tail grow comes out from behind his back here so it'll like go out and around this way and then come out the back of his head like so we can add texture to that as well 
Nicht? Gut. I think that's everything. Just darkening up his gym mouth. Smile here. That's it. That's how to draw tails from Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.